All right, so first things first is I'm going to take this rotate animate out and I'm going to say falling block is equal to sk action or yeah, falling block dot run action and in here it's going to be sk action dot repeat action forever and then we're going to repeat the rotate animate. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this up to something like 20. All right. Now that's problem number one. Problem number two is you saw in the last tutorial that the player got moved around. So let's add in, and technically, technically we can all do this in one function, but the way I like to do it is that once you start adding in more functionality and make bigger games, your functions, instead of being one or two lines, end up being 10 or 20. So we'll say that this is keep player in position. Okay, and we'll say player dot position dot y is equal to, and I believe it was 50. Now, if we go up to the player here, uh, we it was we originally started with 50, but it says 120. So let's go ahead and let's move up to the top here, and we'll add in uh, we'll say var player starting position, and then we'll make that equal to 50 or 120. So let's move back down to where we spawn the player. And the Y here will be player starting position. And that way we can change it whenever we want. Player starting position. Okay. So you can see here um, it says cannot assign a value int to CG float. That's because let's take a look at this here say player dot y okay and if I go to dot y you see it's a type CG float so there's a very simple way to do this CG float and we'll go to player starting position and there you go it works up here now this says there's another problem here it's probably the same thing here yep cannot imp uh, point the CG float to type integer. So we need to type in CG float as well. Okay, and if you think that life is difficult now with Swift, all right, and it says uh, there's an extra file here. And you know what, that's, um, that was weird why that was there. And sometimes, you know, you, you make a keyboard mistake. Nevertheless, let's take a look. So you can see here, and I think we have to call it yeah, and of course we're going to say keep player in position. So that way it will always keep the player at that Y coordinate. So let's take a look at this here. And you can see that the, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And you know what, the rotation's good, but it's a little too fast. I'm thinking let's try 8. Okay, so we'll take a look at 8 and we'll see how that looks. And, you know, we want something that somewhat rotates here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe bring it down to five or maybe even four. We want it to rotate, but not too much. Okay. So in order to do that, let's just take a look at this here. And yeah, that's pretty good. We can probably even bring it down to three or maybe even two. But I'm thinking that this is probably good. Okay. So we have this here and yeah that's probably what we look for here and you can see that you know it can push but it keeps the player in position now this here is not as big an issue because we're going to be destroying this block very very shortly okay so let's take a look at this uh, in the next tutorial